You're watching the Momentum Health Tonkwa track presented by Biogen and uh, this is the race that everybody was waiting for. Having a star-studded field and of course being the first year with the UCI ranking which means that the men elite started first and there they're off and uh, they were literally all there. It was Christoph Sausen, Sam Gays, two Bulls teams, two Topic Ergon teams and lovely to see the local guys there as well from NAD Pro. It is Nico Bell and uh, Javi Kombrink and the boys from Telcom. Uh, nice to see them out there and also a really good chance to see who's who and where leading into the epic this year. They were all together but then of course the same happened for the women's elite. Arihan Luthi just stretching there and a few very competitive teams this year in the women's elite field. They were sticking together at the start and uh, nobody really willing to show their cards. In the men's race though they were starting to get into the stage and what a stage. 1,900 meters of climbing and 89 kilometers of real technical riding. It wasn't long before we started seeing the attacks coming from specialized team bulls, but I think the surprise package on the day and so nice to see that the Talcom boys were there. H.P. Kruger, and he was riding with Waylon Wilcock and they were not holding back anything. Talking about Waylon Wilcock and he drops down there first, but another notable team is the Gold vs. Power BMC team from Nikola Robach and Lukas Flokinger. In fact, Nikolas Robach really feeling good on the day. He was setting a lot of the pacing. Unfortunately, not the best day for Arihan Luthi, who decided to turn around. I suppose that's the way it goes in sport. You get your good days and your bad days. But that opened the door for the Mirandal team with Esther Suss and Jenny Stienhager taking the opportunity. Back to the men's race and interesting to see that Sam Gaze was actually taking a bit of strain which again made it very interesting with the Bulls team and the Telcom team really setting the pace. These guys were flying along the route and uh, with a UCI status it's everything to play for. Up prize money and at the same time those very very valuable UCI points. But there you can see the team. It is Uz Huber and Carl Platt setting the pace, breaking away and a very good victory on stage one of the Momentum Elf Tonkwa track presented by Biogen. Close racing it was with a 2 minute 40 second gap to the Gold West Power BMC team and then flying the South African flag, the boys in Talcom colours. Well done. Uh, I just keep my rhythm and uh, just take it as it, it comes and uh, I knew the first uh, yeah, stage very well and uh, I just wanted to have fun on the trails. Confirmation of the results on stage one and congratulations to two South African teams, number three and four there, Bell and Combrink and Wilcock and Kruger. Has to be said, the big losers on the day is definitely uh, Christoph Sauza and Sam Gays and Alba Nakata and Christian Heineck. Will Topic Ergon and Investec Songo be able to hit back or has the Bulls done enough? Back to the women's race again and look at that for teamwork. Esther Suss giving a wheel to Jenny Stenhager. They were pulling away and now they had a six minute gap to Strauss and de Villiers and 15 minutes to Candice Lil and Vera Adrian. There we have the combination of Mariska Strauss at the front with Yolandi de Villiers on her wheel and this is the team in third. Candice and Vera riding very well as well. But there was no stopping team Mirandol CBC. A great victory for them. And then in second place, it was Omex Pro Team, Mariska Strauss and Yolandi de Villiers, with third being taken by Dor Macabre, Candice Lil and Vera Adrian. Well done, ladies. We had a really, really good day and we worked very well together. And it was great to, to get that first stage done as a team. And obviously very nice to get the win also. Well, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> it was really hard to, to kind of put that behind me now. Um, but that's what I have to do. Uh, I have to look ahead and be positive again and yeah tomorrow is another day um, so we decided to actually ride the stage continue we obviously out of the race so we won't interfere with the women at all but I think for Adelaide and I it's important to just race together. Stage one results for the UCI women's category and uh, the top five teams still only have around 10-11 minutes between them so anything can still happen there on a big stage coming up the name not there is Ariane Luthi. Stage two will show you 87 kilometers with 2,200 meters of vertical ascent, but it's all about the famous or infamous Marino Monster. Who will be king? We'll have to wait and see until tomorrow. Goodbye.